Coming up, Nikki Mancini and Julie Martin have their segment on interesting and unique shopping experiences and items at Walt Disney World. After this. This is the Diz Unplugged, episode 627, for the week of July 9th, 2013. (laughs) It's brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, specializing in helping you plan the perfect Disney World, Disneyland, and Disney Cruise Line vacations. Visit them on the web at www.dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Well, welcome, everybody. Again, sorry about our intro issues there. Um, in fact, we're having a couple technical difficulties today, but that's all right. Uh, I am Dustin West. I'm your host today, joined by John Magi, Teresa Eccles, and someone who's been recently beheaded. Jason. Uh, it's Jason. <laughs> it's <coming Yeah>. <laughs> sorry. We also have Nikki Mancini and Julie Martin. And back in the production nook, we have Craig Williams. Well, again, welcome, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for that, Craig. Do you write your looks into the camera? Yes. You're like, okay, now I'm going to look. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was his I just ate a sandwich look. <laughs> I did. Yes. I know. We all watched. Uh, we did. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. That was a wonderful introduction. I do want to have uh, another more special introduction. Of course, we have Nikki Mancini here. This is your first time on the show, right? It is. Okay, and you are the moderator of the Diz Unplugged forum and also contributed contributor to our blog. Yes, definitely. Welcome. Thank you. Being here the first time, and you guys are going to talk about some shopping stuff you guys did the other day, right? First. um, First. Teresa has an announcement. First, I have. You have an announcement. Jason. His little head is barely attached because he had a fight with Klaus the other night. Jason who? Jason ran. Excellent. Um, he <laughs> It's one of your flatties, obviously. <laughs> yes. He paid some time ago to, um, to donate to Give Kids the World so he could come to the podcast. And we kind of, he kind of, being thin as he is, he fell through the cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Both literally and figuratively? Yes, yes. And... Um, I found him under my desk, and Aww. so I pulled him out. And so anyway, oh, he's, he's been getting more uh, attention than anybody. Yes, he, you know. he he did. He showed up at the uh, Massachusetts meet. We've got to yeah. get some pictures up. He went out to dinner with us girls last night. Um, he's been having a good time at the house. Um, he's just having doing he, some different things. But it's just hard for him to keep his head on. He is straight. He's, <laughs> he's just so tired. <laughs> But love you, Jason. So he's here today, and we're going to get some pictures of you hanging out with John and some other stuff. Oh, cool. Anyway. Always love it when a flatty's here. Yeah. We love our flatties. They still can't see him. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Okay. Thank you for that, Teresa. (laughs) All right. Okay. Well, first I want to say that this is more Nikki's segment because I have nothing on her when it comes to merchandise. She knows. She's like a a Walt Disney World merchandise walking Bible. Right. (laughs) And if you guys if you guys haven't checked out our blog blog.wdwinfo.com uh, I mean Nikki has several articles on there so far all about shopping. Yeah, right under the merchandise section you'll find a lot about shopping and and things that you can get at the world, but there's also some other ones that I've been putting up recently yeah. uh, like 4th of July and such so you can find them there. Yeah. So you have a shopping issue then? I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I figured we would get started. Uh, today I wanted to talk about some unique souvenirs that you can get at Walt Disney World when you're here on vacation. And a lot of the times when people go on vacation, they pick something special to commemorate their trip, but not everyone wants something that has a Mickey head on it right. or you know the Fab Five characters. So I picked two different things that I thought people would like. The first uh, is a little bit more fancier than the second, but I okay. figure we would start with that one first because I like that one the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. so she doesn't, she doesn't save the best for last. She no. saves the best no. for her first. Now, when, when we would come down when I was a kid, I mean, our souvenirs, I mean, we'd get you know stuffed animals or something here and there. But the, the main thing that we would collect, and we were talking about in the early yeah. show, is the refillable mugs. Yes. That would be our big souvenir. And we have you know like a big uh, dresser thing full of them. Cabinet. That's the word. Well, it's a great. Anytime you do anything from a specific, you know, if you stay at a place 
or you went to a place, those are always great. And we've had this conversation many times on the show. Disney merchandise got very diluted. Yeah. So it's nice to see that we're having some more specific items and some right. different items mm-hmm. being showcased. I think that's great. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And resort-specific merchandise is coming back, too, which has been great yes. because I know a lot of people, again, they want something that has the logo of whether it's Old Key West or you know Caribbean Beach, wherever they stay, they want something that has the logo. But for those who want something a little bit different or maybe a gift for someone at home, uh, we took a look at a couple of things that I thought might be good. So the, okay. the first one that I wanted to talk about was the new line of jewelry that's coming out called Chameleon. I think we have some pictures. Hopefully, Craig will get those up. Um, The Chameleon uh, jewelry line is something that's not extremely new, but they have a new Disney collection with it. It's inspired by nature. They started, I think, in about 2008, 2011. And their mantra, so to speak, is that nature is always changing. So their jewelry is interchangeable. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, very, very popular now. We've seen yes. this a lot of places. Right yeah. yeah. Is that a uh, place where you pop out the gems? Uh-huh. Oh, Julie has one on. I'm wearing mine and Nikki's yes. wearing hers. Yes. Um, <laughs> you change out the gems. You can do all that stuff. That's very, mm-hmm. it's become very fashionable now in other places too. So it's nice to see Disney's picking that up. Pandora's mm-hmm. doing that now too. Pandora's mm-hmm. making earrings that you can put beads on. And things mm-hmm. like that. Don't See, I never got, I, I, I never got into jewelry. Pandora. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm not a charm bracelet kind of person. Like, I really don't like things that don't kind of go all together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's just it's not for me. But so when mm-hmm. I went to meet with her and we went to the Wyland Gallery in the Polynesian to, to kind of look at it, um, I kind of thought I might buy something just after looking at it at downtown Disney, but I wasn't for certain. I knew she was going to purchase something. <laughs> so after looking and talking with our associate, Sherry, who was super nice and helpful, yes, she. It was helping both of us at once, Mm -hmm. so that's quite a big deal. And I picked out this. It's just the pendant, and this is my chain. Um, And I have one pop. I chose, like, it looks like black onyx, and it has rhinestones around the side. or Swarovski crystals. Swarovski. Yes. Yes. That that one actually has a cool name. I looked it up. That one's called Black Midnight, I believe it is. Or no, I'm sorry, Black Beauty. Black Beauty. (gasps) Even better. I love that. I used to love that book. Oh, my God. (laughs) So anyway, but I liked it because I could put it on my long chain. I feel like I'm on QVC or something. Yeah. <laughs> really? And then I can also keep it with, um, I can still wear my F. There's my 25 outfit. left. But then I also have my infinity, yeah. so I thought I could wear all three. And Corey was calling me three chains now. so. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a rapper. Right. But, so I love it. I, I know I'll be adding to my collection. And I, I paid, I think, just right at, right at $100 for the pendant and the one pop. But if you had purchased an additional right. pop, you get the chain at like a discounted price. I believe they took 20% off. Yeah. Yeah. But I have pops? plenty of chains, so I did how, not. How do they that. pop in and out? Here, I'll sh- they gave us a little tool, but I could do it with. My it, e- it comes out easily. Watch yeah, your eyes. It does. Yeah, yeah. really. It, it'll fly. <laughs> there it is. See? It what keeps it from popping out while you're just walking around? Well, Snaps. when you put it back in. Here, I'll, I'll let you guys hear. Yeah. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, it's so it. reassuring. It snaps back into place. That's what I call pop. Turn, turn down my pop. ear, my earbuds. <laughs> they pop in and out. So, and mine has little fleur de lis um, at the bottom of the pendant. There's oh, cool. three of them, so that kind That's of why is what turned them. it onto me. So. Now you said you found these at the Wyland Galleries. Yeah, they have them at a couple of places now. The Wyland Galleries at the boardwalk has a huge collection, which we didn't go to that one. We went to the one at the Polynesian, but they still had a great collection. But the one at the boardwalk had a massive collection of both the settings as well as the stones mm-hmm. that you can get. And now there's a Disney line that literally just came out this past week. They're having a trunk show um, at the end of the month, and the trunk show is going to have a representative from Chameleon there to showcase some of the Disney pieces. And uh, there's a variety of different pops, as they call them, the jewel right. pops that they have for Disney. They have Mickey. They have a crown. Uh, they even have some ones that look like they have a little pearl in them that are called Cinderella or Aurora and such. So they're pretty much going to be found everywhere as far as the Disney collection goes. Uh, I was at the Emporium the other day. They didn't have them there, but Uptown Jeweler- Jewelers has them now. Oh, cool. So they're starting to mainstream a little bit more. Cool. And for those of you listening, we'll, we'll have a link to these uh, photos so you can kind of follow yeah. along as we're talking. And when you make a purchase, they actually gave us a little small catalog. So mm-hmm. because, th- I mean, obviously their selection is going to be limited in the store. Um, I tried on a pair of sunglasses that I really liked, mm-hmm. but it's the only pair in that store. 
And that kind of, you know, like, I don't want to buy the display piece. No. I don't want to buy the sunglasses that people have been trying on, you know. Right. Unless I spray them down with that well, stuff. Well, even no, still, even then, you, don't want you know, I mean, like, scratches, whatever, <laughs> oh, yeah. just wear and tear from people touching them and trying them on. What if they dropped them, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um the, the catalog is great. Right. And, and the good and thing, and they have in the catalog, it talks about all the different pops that are available, but also the settings. There's 40 different setting styles that you can get. There's uh, bracelets, there's rings, there's belt buckles. Um, there's even uh, the sunglasses, and, and they're starting to get into pins now. Which wait, I wait, they neat. have the sunglasses that you can pop these things in and out of? Yeah, right on the side. Wow. Yeah, right on the side. You on put the, the legs of the glasses yeah. right towards the front. Yeah. Are they also be dazzled looking or are there some that are more oh no no natural pretty, there's, yes. there's a variety of them okay i mean well, yours see, isn't I, outlandish I, yeah, or anything i chose i didn't like the sparkly one that i had been trying but i like that the, new the jersey's got on over there it. i actually bought the one that julie didn't like i got the sparkly one <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like right because that's some, the one i put in first yes. I was like no this is not for me bling yeah, yeah. but it goes with yeah New Jersey and well, I mean they have oh, they have one with a cat on it, Teresa. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, okay. and a pants. I'm just not as I mean, I, though I do like sparkle and I do like shiny. I'm not a big sparkly person when it comes to jewelry. I like more natural looking, well, or funky. I like funky. And see, that's, jewelry. I think this is great because okay. there's going to be something for everyone in this, okay. in my opinion. Yeah, and and even the settings. I mean, mine has the crystals on it, so this is. This is more blinged out, but right. you can take this pop and you can put it on a plain um, pair of earrings or or something a little bit, you know, plainer that you would want to wear. Okay. And, and you, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say the the pops too. They they range in what they make them from. They have plain stone pops. They also have ones with the crystals on them, as well as Murano glass, which is kind of neat. That comes from Italy. So there's a variety of different pops and settings that you can get. So the Disney line that you were referring to that's coming out in that trunk show, now, are the the, uh, the actual pendants, are those Disney-themed? But then the, the stones inside. Only the pops are, are Disney-themed so far. This okay. is brand new. I mean, they could come out with some settings that are a little bit more Disney. I mean, Disney, they could do but, a Mickey head, because yeah. the pop could go right in the face, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. exactly. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did see a sketch of a Mickey head pendant. Okay. So they might have something, you know, coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely a, a, you know, this is not your typical Mickey Mouse plush or, no. or a t-shirt that says 2013 on it you know this is i don't know that i would go jewelry shopping me personally <laughs> to, to re- dustin needs a pop to remember my uh <laughs> disney vacation i usually i think i tend to go for more um like the more artsy stuff Duff that Daniel. is uh maybe at the art of disney yeah, that's right. where i would find my <laughs> yeah uh, you didn't hear what I said. No. What did you say? You yeah. said good. More, I said stuffed animals. Said stuffed animals. You I plush. <laughs> you're a plush guy. Night shirts. Yeah. <laughs> night, <laughs> night shirts. Tiaras. <laughs> I do like plush animals. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm I sorry. Like too. That, that, That's okay. That's quite all right. Um, the other thing that I don't think you even know about, Julie, I found this out uh, earlier today. They have a collection called the Karma Pops which is kind of interesting in itself. And there's three different pops. They all have a dragonfly on them with a different colored background. And part of the proceeds from these pops goes to CLEO, which stands for the Karen Learning and Education Opportunities Organization. And they actually donate, I think it's $5 per pop, to this organization to help children in Thailand go to better schools for middle school and high school so that they have a better education. So I thought that was kind of neat that they're also giving back through certain pops that they're selling. Five dollars a pop. Didn't you tell us that the pops range in price from fifteen to forty dollars? Uh, it's actually nineteen dollars to, okay. to I believe it's fifty nine, nineteen to yeah. fifty nine dollars, depending on what kind of pop you get. All of the settings are sterling silver, and then the pops are a variety. So it depends on what kind well, of they're pop different you get. sizes. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. So they're not completely interchangeable. You have to get the right size. This, uh, oh. Well, the, all of the settings are the same size. The same. They all work with the pops yeah. themselves. Wow. Okay. But yeah. Do you have on? Yeah. Because uh-huh. you're switch. Would sure. you like us? to do, do it. I mean, we do can it. switch it. Switch it yeah, we can switch it. This is... This is weird. This, this is, is something like on a Captain Planet here. or something. Yeah. I don't have my tool. <laughs> you don't oh, you know. just popped it out a minute ago. I don't have talons like she has. Talons? <laughs> talons. <laughs> but it looks funny when it's... Empty. Yeah, it looked bigger... Yeah. Yours looks bigger. Yeah, this is very Home Shopping Network. It is. But <laughs> well, well, you're talking about jewelry and souvenirs. Yeah. Oh, I like that. See, good. I like that. Yeah. That's good with my shirt, actually. I like that. Yeah. Maybe I will be getting it. That's Hawaiian fizz, if you like that the one. The black looks good on you, but yeah. I know you're not a big fan of 
You already have well, enough sparkle. I got enough bling that's going a, on. This is an interesting new take, especially when they unveil yeah. the uh, the Disney line on collectibles. You know, because yeah. <laughs> I know me. If I even though that's not really my thing, right. if I started one of those, I'd have to get them all. Well, I don't need them all, but how I am. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the danger of it. Because when we <laughs> went, the danger. Yeah, well, it was danger. Well, will I not planned exist. on getting something very basic, and then I saw this pendant, and I really liked it, and then I decided on taking her stone that she didn't want. Was so that your chain, or you got that chain? No, they they had the chains too. You can buy the chain. So I, I bought my own chain, and then um, I bought two pops. But then within 15 minutes, I went to Magic Kingdom, and I bought one of the Disney pops because they had them there. So and I, I knew she was going to. She said, yeah. oh, I'm going to go over somewhere else. I'm like, you're yeah. going to buy another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people are buying this stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the woman at the gallery yesterday by the boardwalk said that they are just flying off the shelves. She said that they're getting a lot of the newer pops uh, quicker than the one at the Polynesian, and well, people are going bigger. There. They have more storage space. It, it's amazing what they what they have. People are so hungry for different and unique stuff. Yeah, that Disney could put out almost anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, this stuff looks good, and it I looks like high quality and stuff. But I mean, look at Vinyl Nations. Yep, right. when yeah. they first came out, people couldn't wait to get every single Vinyl right. Nations. It's, so. Yeah, it's just. I love Vinyl Nations, but at the end of the day, it is just a and plastic In my opinion, figurine. this is a little more affordable because some of that Disney jewelry that you yeah. see, you know, like the like, true Disney jewelry with Mickey on it, pearls yeah. and gold and stuff like that. You know, there are things in those cases that are like $5,000. Yeah. Well, this you is know. more affordable, but it's still... It's still know. pricey, but... It's still, I mean, it's, it's, a, not, yeah, it's a tire for it's my a, car. I mean... <laughs> yeah. That's a, it, is a, it is a cool I mean, way to go jewelry shopping while you're at Disney, though. Your freaking tire. <laughs> Oh my god! Bitter. But I'm still, uh, you know, they're pre- sorry. Well, I don't need, an, I don't need a new tire. But I don't know. I think it's pretty. I like. And my I like birthday's to see coming up. Colors. This is for myself. There you go. I'm allowed to shop for myself, right? Because yeah. I usually only shop for my kids and Corey. Oh, I know that. Too. <laughs> All right. So um, the next thing that I thought we would talk about, we actually have some props here. We do. Yeah, I'm Bring curious them. about these. Yeah, uh, over at Animal oh, Kingdom, there's a couple of different stores and kiosks that have what's known as the beadwork sculptures and let's see if i can hold, hold one up, it up for you okay um this is an example of what they would look like these are handmade sculptures that are made in both africa as well as asia and a minimum of two people work on each piece really uh but usually it's a lot more there's one main designer and she began learning this process in 2001 is that a zebra so- that's a zebra <laughs> that's a ze- is a giraffe. That's where they went. Oh, oh, well, is it? Yeah, okay. I guess so. So just to explain to those listening, what we're looking at, it's basically mm-hmm. a wire sculpture of, yeah. of animals, and then beads have been placed on top of it. So it's color. not yeah. uh, one person. That kind of bums me. Well, what they do is they first start with the... Well, it makes it kind of assembly line. If it is. Doing, it is. They have someone kinda... who's in charge of the frame, and then if, if you look underneath, you'll see the frame, and they bend the wire, and it takes a lot of strength to do this because, you know, the wire is really, really strong wire, so they use different tools to do that. And then they have people typically with smaller hands who do the beating because it's so Putting intricate. The filament I think in the, the light yeah. bulb. part about that is that yeah. it's handmade. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I mean, the, the idea, not that it's multiple people, is that it's, this is handmade. This isn't just yeah. put out on a machine and produce mass um, produced. We she actually we watched a video yes. of how they do this. So I have a little tiny frog. See, he's so cute. I think your frog is adorable. Yeah. He is really cute. Cool. Well, I have to say, I was not really a big fan of especially like the larger ones. I mm-hmm. kind of thought they were cheesy looking at first. Oh, thanks. But I'm just let me say, let me finish. So, um when I saw the video of how much hard work and detail goes into this, and this is a true like artisan piece, and it's not just being produced in a factory, it made me appreciate it a lot more. And Corey actually, he bought two of them. He bought the frog and I think a little lizard like you have mm-hmm. for the kids during their seven and seven. Oh. <clears throat> but somehow at? they have ended <clears throat> up on my desk. <laughs> what's, what's the price on these? It varies. Uh, the smaller ones are usually about ten dollars, and they can go up to about forty four ninety five or so for a big. Well, not piece. exactly. It's kind of reversed. If you look at Julie's frog, mm-hmm. that's harder to bead and to sculpt. So those tend to be a little bit more expensive at huh. times. Um, but it really depends on the design. This one that I have here this iguana was thing. yeah. It, it, this was twenty four ninety five. But you can also get your discounts with annual pass holder, which always is nice. Uh, but it depends on the style. Again, that's a really cool souvenir, especially from Animal Kingdom. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, to have a handmade sculpture yeah. of maybe if you see an animal that you really like when you're there. Mm-hmm. It can mm-hmm. definitely help you remember your trip. And not, it, it doesn't have Mickey Mouse all over it. Exactly. You know? exactly. And I like that you can get them small. Like, it doesn't have mm-hmm. to be gigantic, mm-hmm. you know. Um, 
Because Lord knows we have enough stuff in our house. Well, so. the other thing, too, is, you know, most people have to fly home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you get excited and you see the big giraffe mm-hmm. and you think, I want this. But you got to think about how you're going to get it home. Something nice and small and travels easy. If your kids are like mine, especially Finley, she loves tiny things. So when he saw these, he's like, he knew, you know. So it makes it so nice. You can put them in your pocket if you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> And they do say there's a little tag that comes with them, and it says exactly what country they're made in. Mine, it said, I think, Southeast Asia. uh, But it depends, you know, what country and such that they're made in. But there's also a little warning about kids not being able to play with these because they can be dangerous. Well, no, they're not toys. Yeah, Yeah. it's not a toy. (laughs) I know your child. She's not (laughs) chewing on it or anything. Yeah. But it it seems pretty sturdy. It's not like if a kid picked it up and threw it, it would break. But No. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. So I thought, um, I mean. Corey's, I have to say this. Corey's texted me. That's what Ferris and Finley have. Yes, honey. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? He's so clueless. Oh, He's man. so clueless. <laughs> oh. We were, we were, t- it's funny. We were talking about, um, you know, different souvenirs that we could find at Disney World that don't necessarily have mickey heads all over it or not necessarily a t-shirt or a stuffed mm-hmm. animal even though i love stuffed animals i really do i really do um so i thought maybe if if you guys could think of anything i mean what's one of your favorite shops or one of the best things that you guys have bought at disney you i know, have multiple good lord that is kind of fits that bill i know for me i love the wood carvers at mm-hmm. both animal kingdom um at the bazaar and at uh, epcot in the the african um, the African the outpost. Outpost. The outpost. The outpost. The outpost. Um, I actually, when I was working there, I got a chance to meet some of those wood carvers and it's a, it's like a family of, when they were there, it was like these two brothers and there was a cousin and they all work together. And the, I mean, they're doing it right there in front of you. Um, it's, it's awesome. The wood carving is what they're doing. For right me, in front it's of you. <laughs> but you know, it's there's family. something really unique in that area too. And that is, um, the jewelry that's made off theme park maps. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Right. At the African outpost. Yes. And that's also a very unique souvenir. I mean, it's made from the park maps and mm-hmm. by hand again. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's it's all women that make these, right? I can't remember. I believe so. It was all women who made them and they, they cut the park maps up and yeah. they did the. But bead. it looks, it's very neat. I mean, it actually looks like little beads when you get really close to it. You can see it's the little strips of paper that have been sort of twisted together. Um, or put inside uh, something that displays part of the map. Yeah. For us, it's always a trip to Art of, art of Disney. Mm-hmm. It's always some sort of art piece that always catches our eye. Right. And it's usually something that's not obviously Mickey. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't really want the giant Mickey or anything like that. It's something that's a little more abstract. I, I usually like the stuff that has to do with, like, concept art or designs for the different attractions that, like you said, not obviously Mickey Mouse that could go up on a shelf somewhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean... I like anything funky and retro that looks like it came from early Disneyland mm, or, Kevin yeah. Too, yeah. you know, I love that what, Kevin and Jody, what they do, right. What they do. Right? Yeah. I love that Shag, stuff. And stuff. I also, yeah, I love Shag. And I also love, um, funky jewelry. It can have Mickey or Minnie on it, but for, from a child standpoint, I got to go back to the little minis, the little, Oh, the, the little park souvenir. Yeah. The little bags, the little, bags, of, you the little bags of three mystery items. That you get. Are they and characters? They are characters. Mm-hmm. Some are characters. Some are theme park icons. Okay. Some, are, some are Star Wars. Star Wars. Some are I've got a, a Chewbacca that still only says, "What well, this doll is so cute." Mm-hmm. Where do you usually pick those up? Um, any of yeah. the the gift toy shops, store yeah. at. Uh, oh my god! The I, I completely missed this. Yeah. Oh you, my god! And they usually have mm-hmm. a display case right. where with um s- with them set up so you can see what they look like, which you don't see what you're going to get so, in the bag. You don't see what you're going to get. It's not see through, and it's like six ninety five a bag. Five ninety five. Five ninety five, and you and you can feel. Feel, it used to be able you could Teresa feel the bag the and you could feel the bag up and right go, they mm, caught on to okay. that now they have a lot of air in them and you can't feel yeah. it's harder to exactly feel it up now there. because you can't feel what's in there so <laughs> so, like, so many yeah. drops yes yes <laughs> that's rough but no I mean I have got the whole incredible family oh cute see, oh what my I'm worried God. about is I would see the, them displayed or read a list of every single one and I'd buy 500 bags of those things okay and 5.95 still not. Yeah. but then you get to the register 69.42 or whatever the heck I, <laughs> yeah. it came 
to it. And I'm like, what? And I'm looking at me and Stella going, she said, they're only $5.95. I'm but like, you know, no, but I, we just bought just 40 of them. And they have, a, <laughs> they have other series, too. They have a, um, a Star Wars collection. Yeah, the they Star have Wars the, are neat. The, the regular Disney theme park. Mm-hmm. And then they have a Pirates of the Caribbean collection, yeah. too, which was pretty popular for a while. And they're little. They're very they're tiny. tiny. And they're nice to display. I have lined up on my monitor. And, on my yeah. 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 And Susan, Susan. Zibby, who was with us last night, she, she started collecting them. And yeah. she bought a shadow box to put mm-hmm. hers in. Well, that's cool. And it's just, and then she also took mm-hmm. some. She had duplicates, and took them. Where did she take them? I don't know. I want to say the toy store. She's toy, and she um, traded them in for stuff she mm-hmm. didn't have. Mm-hmm. You'd see me sleeping on the streets, but at least I'd have those little yeah. figures. Oh, for a while there, we were obsessed. <laughs> yeah. I uh, you know, I ended up with like forty little booze from Monsters Inc. Like, okay, yeah. I got to get rid of some of these little booze, but but you know. It's They're cool. cute, and and you could put them anywhere, like you said, on your monitor, mm-hmm. your computer monitor. On my uh, in my classroom at school, I have. Uh, a cabinet, and all along the top, I have all of those. So and if the kid, they're, they're not, cute. they're not to play with. But Stella, when she was younger, would just you know sit at the table and just move them around. And if you got a whole set of one little yeah. movie or one little attraction, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anything set up to trade, like for Vinylmations you don't have? And well, that's what. Have? See, that was new to me. I've never heard of them trading she those was before. That last night, that, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was a fluke thing or, or if it's something new, but they don't have any official. Yeah. And I've seen them on eBay spots. too, which is bizarre. But. And some of them go for a lot of money. Yeah, some Believe of the hard ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 collectibles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like Vinyl Nation. Mm-hmm. But they're so cute, and they're little. That was me. Oh. <laughs> um, I am partial to the World Showcase. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of things from those shops. Um, I love Norway's pavilion but specifically for their silver jewelry which they kind of have you know their collection has kind of diminished i don't know if they're not replenishing it or what the last time i was in there it was not as big as i remember but they do still have some pieces and um i think china is a fun place oh yeah i Mm -hmm. love oh my god christmas ornaments okay i assume they're christmas ornaments there's a little tree in the cha- shop, and the very back shop in, in China, you know, and they hang on there. And they're like enamel and, and they're kind of some sort of gold metal or whatever. But they're very unique and they have all different things, you know. And I, to this day, still have not bought one. <laughs> but I swore to myself this year I'm getting one. They're so interesting. They're so interesting. I like the, this little beaded thing. made me think Grace just came back from Guatemala and as her little token to me, a little gift she brought me was a little beaded Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. And it was so adorable until I turned it over and the backside... He had like two faces. And it was like okay, this is kind of <laughs> creepy, but it was cute. But it was a really tiny little intricate beating. And yeah. but I love little stuff like that. I mean, you're always able to turn something into creepy. Yeah, well, it, it was creepy. It's like oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, I get the back. He had kind of a creepy face. You know, like that guy from. Um... No. Yeah, you do. You're just pointing. Yeah, what does you're that mean? just saying from. We don't know the movie. Um, the movie. Nightmare Before Christmas. The dude that has the oh, two Jack the, the mayor. Oh. No, the mayor. Yeah, oh. the mayor. You know how he has the weird face, and mm-hmm. it, it was like that. But oh. anyway, um, what? I don't know. This is a weird conversation. <laughs> I could almost see into your head with the light behind it, and I could see the gears <laughs> turning <laughs> and the people like running around, so <laughs> thoughts so together. Funny. I lost my train of thought. What I love about China is you almost get sensory overload. There's yeah. so much to look at. That's that big cool shop, stuff. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Such interesting stuff in bright colors. The same papers with, and Japan. the stationery. So, yeah. oh, yeah. Japan is fun too. Then yeah. they collects the little cats and owls that they have. The little, you know, the good well, See, I think those are great souvenirs as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm at the point now, though, I'm, she needs a display case. <laughs> I, I have need, them in like a little All the different box. colors. You, yeah. Need, yeah. you need luck in every aspect of your life. <laughs> <laughs> they also have, um, it's something new as of, I want to say February or so when I was down here. They have little bonsai kits that you can bring home and plant your own little bonsai mm-hmm. tree. Yeah, I've seen I those. And you know, the bonsai <laughs> trees that they have are gorgeous, but who's going to be able to fly with that? But these are in a little box. They're and, hard to, you know. Right. That's the type of thing that dies. kind of cute, but. At home. Right. <laughs> what about um, you, Craig? Anything that you usually collect that's not necessarily got Mickey all over it? No. No. Okay. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Robot Craig. I'm, I'm with Teresa. I really like Kevin and Jody stuff. Um, yeah. We had the chance to meet them during the ABD. Right. Well, I was the only one who hadn't met them at that point. But um, yeah, this past weekend I dropped like $150 on their tiki room stuff that they just put out for yeah. the 50th and the Polynesian Bull. It's such feel good, it. happy, right. retro. I mean, it, it just makes right. you so happy. It, it, it uh, 
hits on a retro theme that ha- that's sort of a fantasy retro theme we have yeah. or an idea of what the 50s were like. Right. Sort of yeah. that perfect 50s. Yeah, thing. you want to put on some gloves and some pearls and walk through the park. I mean, it's just, well, maybe not. I do. You, you do. It makes me want to you know, push button kitchen. Yeah. You know. With a fridge that, I mean. Yeah. You know, a good question, though. How do you guys uh, display some of your stuff? Um... Well, I know that some of the wood carvings that we have and like purchases we've made at the Festival of the Masters, I have a very tall cabinet next to my desk and I have sort of made that where the birds live. I have a birdhouse that sits there and they some of them are up on like books, some of them are down on the, the main level of the, yeah, the bird display. You have a bird? <laughs> what birds? Um, we collect these birds that um, there's an artist, God, I can't think of his name right now, Jim and Tori. Jim and Tori. Oh, that, okay, I thought it was a real first Yeah, story. I believe... Um, okay. Well, anyway, so it's all wooden bird carvings. There are some different animals, but he uses antique um, metal parts to sort of decorate the birds. Mm-hmm. Like some of the feathers are made out work. of work is um, like metal well. rulers, and mm-hmm. he puts all sorts of. I have the bird I bought this year is on a, or that we bought is on a set of opera glasses. So it's funky stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, you would love funky. it, Teresa. Okay, like, yeah. and they make jewelry. Like, oh my god, oh, it's wow. my favorite thing. Okay. They have something similar to that in Animal Kingdom. They have, I think they're called tin animals, and they're made mm-hmm. over in Kenya or, or something, someplace along that. And uh, they have zebras. They have. All you know, lions. They have all sorts of animals too, and those are actually priced pretty decently compared to some of the other collectibles. That's like yeah. um, the gift shop at House of Blues. That's some weird stuff in there. Yeah, the art. Oh my gosh! You, you've been to the Festival of the Masters, right? Yeah. Do you ever go down that area where it's the true craftsman, like the folk yeah. art? Yeah. Oh, weird. The folk art. Yeah. I can't think of the right word. Yeah. There's a man That's who the does folk me. art. It's, um, the bottle caps. Yes. He makes portraits using bottle caps, whether it's from beer bottles, Coke yeah. bottles, whatever. And they mm. look l- like the person. Usually it's a famous person, so you can identify who it is, not just some random, you know, oh God, different, <laughs> different colored bottle caps, almost like in a pixelated way. Yes, right? it is totally cool. I weird? love it. Wow. But I love that weird, random I would plan my trip of around everyday that. objects. Yeah. We have a lot mm. of friends who do. If I did not and live take here, because that's where my souvenir would come from. Yeah. And what a great time to Christmas shop mm-hmm. for myself. Oh, yeah. and, mm-hmm. you know. and they also have incredible jewelry too. I mean, like yeah. people you know that come and that make their own. Yeah. I think that's really cool. That's what I like. Any anytime I go on a trip, whether it's Disney or to these Disney's or whatever, I always like to come back with a pair of earrings mm. that tell that you know, represents I'll, that trip for me. Yeah, almost everything I wear, I can commemorate to something. Yep, I do too. I like that. I do too. It's simple. It's little. It's you know. It's spe- jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, what do you do with the stuff you buy? Do you display it? Do you? I have, I have a bunch of different things. I am really into the Dooney and Burke bags, so mm. those are just hanging all over the closet at this point. <laughs> but uh, I do have vinyl mations. I got into that for a while. I'm starting to get out of it because it get is expensive. It <laughs> I'm trying really really hard. But they do have the new Park Stars series, which they they're vinyl mations, the but they're different molds, and they're from all the different parks, and they're the icons. So I kind of have them on shelves in my office, and I really yeah. like that. Those are really yeah. cool. Um, I like the newest uh, version of that, but it's neat that those park stars you were talking about, they mm-hmm. break the mold of the original Mickey. So it's, again, exactly. it doesn't have to fit in if, if you don't want just a bunch of Mickey Mouse stuff hanging around. Right. You know, these are like the robot from, uh, I forget what it's from, Horizons, I think. Yeah, they you know, have, you know, some like kind of different ones. They even have little character from Tapestry of, what is it, Tapestry of Nations, or, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nations or whatever yeah, it was okay. over right. at Epcot. And they have the woman in the red dress from Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. Oh. So they have some interesting pieces that they do with that as well. That's he forced me into Vinyl Nations. And he has, <laughs> it's a typical case. It's, it's black and I, I believe it's like maybe six and eight and eight or six mm-hmm. and six. I can't remember. So um, his case got full because he kept on collecting them. And so now a lot of his are in my case. Oh, so you know what? Away, yeah. Now he just has them all in his office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you keep them. <laughs> cool, cool. Teresa, do you display anything at home or is it just a mess on your desk? It's that's chaotic. How I picture it. I, that's how I picture it. Yeah, like I those picture. M&Ms. Right, just like this. It's not chaotic. Thing, There's yeah. a purpose to it all. It's... I, I kind of rotate my stuff. I I don't put everything out all at once because, you know, it's I might get bored with it, so I'll pull something out and bring out my own different little, you know, people or, or uh, I have a shelf over my desk, flaming red shelf that puts the best stuff on. Wow. Ooh. That, Ooh, the shelf of special honor. spot. The shelf of honor. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you're up there, you're good. And uh, it just so I'm you know when I'm working like a dog for John, I can look up and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just. <laughs> 
Pittsburgh. I don't approve of you looking away. Eyes <laughs> <laughs> on the, the screen. At some right. point, I've got to look. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. You know, and I might touch something or hold it and try to. <laughs> Get a feel good. Well, what about that picture of Klaus and the uh, mouse ears over there? That was by your. Oh, computer. I know. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> he was saying on my desk. My desk is chaos at the moment. But yes. you know. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I'm glad that we got a chance to talk about these unique things. I, I think that's an important topic. Is when people when people shop, you know, they they. We were talking before the show. Mm-hmm. People just want Mickey Mouse stuff, and I think that you're going to find something to commemorate your trip and be a little more special. I also if think you go this think route. about you know. We talked about different places. Don't just go to the World of Disney. Mm-hmm. Right. Go to the Wyland Gallery mm-hmm. in the, in the, at the boardwalk. Go to these different shops in Animal Kingdom. I think people, everyone heads for the big souvenir store. Right. And that's yeah. not where your unique stuff is. Yeah. Not at all. No, and I'm hoping to have a blog up pretty soon about the Wyland Galleries oh, because... Cool. Not only the chameleon jewelry line, but they have some amazing things over there. And not everything is outrageously expensive. You can find something that's, you know, a, a pretty decent price and it's it'll be a great souvenir to bring home or even a gift for someone, you know, back home who couldn't join you on your vacation. Yeah, that's what they want. Look, I went to Disney and you yeah, didn't exactly. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> your token. Cool. Remember, you didn't go. <laughs> I know, but all right. <laughs> that's awesome. That's what I do. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Julie, for uh, going out and exploring and finding those unique things. I took one for the team on this. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to do it for this segment of uh, the Diz Unplugged. We certainly hope you folks, uh, folks enjoyed it, and we will see you next week with our next edition of the Diz Unplugged. Thanks, everyone. Have a good week. 